Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the hopeful elect of Israel, you Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian and Haitians. Gotta give our praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Quraish. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. And the sense of salutation to all the Akim, pushing the truth and believing this truth throughout the four ends of the earth, waking up the whole for the elect. The entire world, waking up the whole for the elect. And shout out to the Akwaf who are listening and learning. The few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming at you another lesson in true facts, faith, and edification. And this is a video from Elder Yasha Wamba from the Dallas camp, GMS Dallas. And he did a video, and it's titled, Jamaican Pastor Says He Will Take the Microchip. Lord's Witness Be Edified. Shalom, all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah Quraish. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. And as you can see here, a uh, a uh, Jamaican pastor, all right, ready to take the microchip. And it says his colleagues say it is the mark of the beast. Um, it says a Jamaican pastor said he would have no problem putting a micro chip under his skin as one way to avoid using cash. All right. And we understand that um, Esau Edom has for years used pastors. All right. Or, you know, your 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 so-called leaders, which he set up to um, lead you to destruction. And. Um, you know, one one thing that comes to mind is, you know, there was a point where abortion or abortions weren't um, highly esteemed amongst the so-called Negro, all right, Latino and Native American, all right. But through pastors, through, you know, Margaret Sanger, one of the things she said is we have to get a charismatic leader, mainly a pastor, because the, the our people are, are, are tied to the scriptures. You know, and if the pastor would use the Bible to justify abortions, all right, it would get our people into um, getting them at a high rate. And it did. It did. You know, and what was her goal to eradicate the seed of Jacob? You know, you know, uh, eugenics. That was one of the ways, because basically she said we were weeds. In a garden, and what do you do with weeds? Weeds are annoying. You 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 root take them up. So, as you can see here, and this is just one of many, because next you're gonna have T.D. Jakes and Freddie Haynes and all of these various different pastors saying, "Well, this microchip that we see, all right, that's being implemented has nothing to do with the market of peace. They're gonna use uh, Romans the 13th chapter." All right, where it says be subject to the higher powers. Now, in a sense, you know, when it comes to stopping at a stoplight, you know, you got to go to work. And ultimately, that, that scripture in, Rebel, uh, in Romans, the 13th chapter, is dealing with not trying to set up a coup and fight against the government. Okay? If the government tells you to be a faggot, you don't be a faggot, man. The government tells you you got to put a microchip inside of your skin. You don't take the microchip inside of your skin, man. Okay? But if the government tells you you have to have a particular ID, all right, in order to, to drive or, or travel, hey, we do those things. All right? Because we understand that we have to obey the law of the land. But there comes a point where your faith, all right, has to step in. And, 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 and when things become too much, you have to take a stance, man. And that stance is coming, all right, which is going to, uh, you know, make us enemies of the state in a very, very major way. But these pastors are going to be teaching you Israelites, as they already are, all right, to follow the ways of the heathen, man. And that things like the microchip are not something that the Bible speaks out against. Just as they're doing it with homosexuality, clearly the scripture says, all right, uh, in Leviticus 20 and 13, a man lying with mankind, all right, should be put to death, you know, uh, like he lied with the woman, should be put to death. But what did the pastors say? They, well, that was then, and, 
you know, well, if you take that one scripture, they, they tap dance around the, the, the narrative of the scriptures. And then what does that leave? People participating in more sin and not repenting, man. Okay. So this nigga said, Sean, Pastor Sean Major Campbell, the, uh, of the rector of Christ Church in Vineyard Town, St. Andrew, said he does not think that the use of microchips in place like Sweden is a sign of the mark of the beast. And it's the same thing you got Israelites saying. <laughs> right? It says the implanted microchip is advanced and it is an advanced convenience and that's how they're going to sell it. It's convenient. And our people already wore out. They're looking for the, the biggest shortcut that they can get. Okay? And like they're offering that Big Mac for a dollar so you, you can win a million. They're going to give you that, that, that microchip and say, well, we'll take your debts away. You know, uh, we'll give you $10,000. All you have to do is start over in this new system. And our people are going to be right there because their leaders are going to be telling them that it's okay. All right? It says, the implanted microchip is an advanced convenience which I would personally utilize the Bible is understandably silent on this as it was on cell phone technology. You see that? But the scripture said knowledge would increase. The scriptures talks about this RFID microchip. But just as you, you, you mark ass Israelites are pushing this, <laughs> this madness that this RFID microchip has nothing to do with the mark of the beast. This is what these pastors are doing. They're saying the Bible don't speak about that. They, they laugh at it. They scoff at it, right? It says the Bible is understandably silent on this, all right, as it was on cell phone technology, all right? It says microwave ovens and motor vehicles. You see that? The Bible don't mention a microwave, so why would it mention a microchip? Any attempt to link technological, technological accomplishments with the... Uh, apocalyptic image of the mark of the beast is really fear mongering and scared tactics Campbell told the star and you can read the full story as you can see niggas laughing the bible silent on those things because the goat herder authors never knew they'd be invented religion is an obstacle for advancement of the human race and as you, if you, as you read down you see people kind of getting on them but you see people scoffing and talking shit but ultimately men like him are going to be used to lead you Israelites to that wide gate that's going to lead to your destruction man all right and they say that it's fear mongering but what does the scripture say all right what does the scripture say through the terror persuade Through the terror of the Lord, 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. I started uh, 10. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach was getting ready to happen, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. Let's look up this word terror. Look at this word terror, man. All right. Terror is phobos. Phobia says fear, dread, terror, that which strikes terror, reverence for one's husband. Like a woman should have fear of how she acts or what she does. All right. Because she should have reverence for her husband. Now, as the nation of Israel, we have reverence for our husband. Okay. <laughs> We, we, we don't think that putting the foreign object inside of our body is something that will make our Lord happy. As he said, you would receive the judgment if you did that. that. That's the highest form of blasphemy, and that's a high form of adultery, man. That's the highest form of adultery, allowing another entity or man to put his name on us. That's what that chip is all about. Fear, dread, terror. So the scriptures say, Knowing, therefore, the, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. 
but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust, all right, and I trust also are made manifest unto your consciousness. So, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, as the scriptures say, but see, these niggas are dumb dogs, man. And a lot of you Israelites are dumb dogs. And you had a guy come onto my page saying, well, maybe you was a buck would listen if y'all wasn't so mean. Get your ugly ass out of here, man. We living in some extreme times, man. If, if he's a man of the Lord, he, he gonna get it. Okay? Isaiah 56 and 10, his watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. They're all dumb dogs. You got a dog that somebody walks in a gate he don't bark. You you supposed to be the watchman. But see, your pastor's going to lead you all to taking that chip. Using those type of uh, ideologies. Well, does the scriptures mention the cell phone? Does the scriptures mention the microwave or a car? <laughs> it says, they're all dumb dogs that cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Okay, loving to slumber, man. They are greedy dogs which could never have enough, all right? And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They're not leading you. They're not watching the flock. They all look unto their own way, everyone for his gain, for his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. I mean, it's not going to get bad, all right? They're not going to implement a chip. There's not going to be any Jacob's trouble. That's all fear mongering. Everything's gonna be all right, all right. And 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 and, and they, they, these men are full of hate. This is what they gonna say about us. You see, T. D. Jace, Creflo Dollar, Joel Olstein, all right, Freddie Haynes, and all the rest of these rusty, all right, whack ass preachers that that ain't speaking the gospel. Vocab Malone, he ain't warning about the mark of the beast. All right, but y'all go ahead and keep playing with the Lord. Okay, as the scriptures say, uh, as the scriptures say, man, he's going to call all, Revelation 13 and 6, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, karagma, an incision, a cut in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right, and through that mark, you, you, you won't be able to buy a sale unless you have it, man. So, it's clear as day that we're living in the last days, all right? And you false prophets are being exposed, all right? And as the scriptures say, many, many shall follow their pernicious ways, man. Shalom. Now I want to see if I can do something and go find um, this article real quick. about this pastor Let's see if I can find this real quick. Okay, so here it is. I just want to pull this up because <clears throat> just did a video. You know, I, I played um Elder Yashua my video, right? About the chip. So I want to play it so you can see it. I want to pull the article up. So right here. It says, Jamaican pastor ready to microchip his colleague says it is the mark of the beast. 
The pals are ready to take the microchip, but they say his colleagues say it is the mark of the beast, right? Jamaican pastor say he will have no problem putting a microchip under his skin as one way to avoid using cash. Pastor Sean, they say Pastor Sean Major Campbell of the Ritter of, of the Ritter of Christ Church in Vineyard Town, St. Andrew, say he does not think that the use of the microchip in places like Sweden is a sign of the mark of the beast. The implanted micro is an the implanted microchip is an advanced convenience which I would personally utilize. The Bible is understandably silent on this as it was on cell phone technology, microwaves, and motor vehicles. Any attempt to link technology accomplishments with the apocalyptic image of the mark of the beast is really fear-mongering and scare tactics, Camel told the star. And this is how your pastor is going to get you to take the RFD microchip. Okay. Your pastor is going to get you to take this chip, man. Okay. This is um Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 13. Then said I, all oh, Lord Yahweh power, behold the prophets say unto them, unto who? The congregation, ye shall not see the sword, neither shall you have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. So these pastors is giving people a sure peace that whatever is being pushed out of the Bible, which is the truth, about the RFD microchip, about famine coming, martial law, race rights, and concentration camps, all this is lies according to this pastor here. Okay? This is what the Lord say. Then the Lord Yahweh said unto me, The prophets prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither spake unto them, they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of not, and the seed of their heart. Therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Okay? So, by sword and famine. Shall this prophet and all the other ones be consumed? Okay. Verse um where I'm at. 16. Jeremiah 14 and 16. And the people to whom they prophesy, talking about you, you people that's in these churches, shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem. Because of the, man, you're going to be cast out and all Israel going to see it. Because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them. Them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters. For I will pour their wickedness upon them. Now, when you go to Ezekiel, chapter 13, verse 5, to lock you, it reads this. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. So this pastor right here is not preparing his people and his congregation to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord Yahweh self and the Lord Yahweh have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they will confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord Yahweh said, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh power, 
because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord Yahweh. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and the divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh shall power. This is the cold point, verse 10. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there is no peace. And Yahweh shall say in Matthew 10 and 34, he come not to bring peace but a sword, man. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. You're lying to the people, man. And you're putting lies on top of lies on top of lies, man. The Lord say, uh, Ezekiel 13 and 10, it say, because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there is no peace. Okay? They're lying to you, man. But the congregation in these churches, your pastor is going to call you to take the chip, man. And that's the title of this lesson. Your pastor will deceive you to take the chip. Ezekiel 34 and 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flocks? That's what the pastor is supposed to be doing. Feeding the flocks, but he not. He feeding himself. Matter of fact, he's deceiving his own self, man. That's a that's a horrible thing, man. Verse three: Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool, and ye kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock, right? The, they said the disease have you not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick. Talking about the ones that are looking for the truth, man. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have you brought again that which was driven away, meaning the lost sheep. Neither have ye sought that which was lost. The Lord say, Yahweh shall say, he came to seek that which was lost, man. And that's why he set up shepherds, prophets. They said, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And that was the point, man. The Lord said, with force and with cruelty, have you ruled them, man? So you have to see Jake with this madness, man. It said, with force and with cruelty, and with cruelty because you're going to make, you're going to make two thirds of Jake take that chip, man. You're going to make them take the chip. You're going to tell them it's a good thing. And most of Jake going to take it because they following you pastors. But you don't know the Lord going to have the same congregation to destroy you pastors, man. Okay. Let's get on. Um, um, read this again. Ezekiel 34 and verse uh, 4. It reads, neither have ye sought that which was lost. Which is the lost sheep that's seeking the truth. It reads, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. Okay? And you destroying Jake. You destroying the people, man. You destroying Israel with your madness, man. But the Lord is going to destroy you, man. Because of what you're doing. And this is and this is what you see, man. This is Jake falling out to these false prophets. This is Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, power Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Because, and you know something? Jake trusts in these pastors, man. Okay? That's what the Lord say this, man. And we supposed to be doing what? Isaiah 35. Uh, 
in verse uh, 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. And that's what the Lord said in Ezekiel 34 that the pastors ain't doing, man. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance, even power with a recompense. He will come and save you. These pastors are not telling people that, man. They lying. Now, they tell them that, that Jesus come back to save them, but they're not, they not building them up for the day of battle, man. They're not telling them the truth. All they're telling them is be prosperous. Jesus love you. Come as you are. That's all they're saying. Isaiah 35 and 5. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened with the truth, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped with the truth. Then shall the lame man leap as in heart because he's going to know the truth. And the tongue of the dumb sing because he's going to know the truth. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. Meaning the truth that the wisdom not to understand is going to be back into the fold, man. And the parched ground shall become a pool. And it's talking about the valley of dry bones. And the thirst land spring of water and the habitation of the dragons where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. Talking about the truth is going to spring up, man. Okay? And people will know how to deal with the day of Jacob's trouble, man. But following this guy right here, you ain't going to know nothing, man, but how to take the R for the microchip. The same way the rest of these pastors are doing the same thing, man. Okay? They're going to deceive you to take the mark of the beast, man. And that's why these, these elites got Kanye West set up, man. So he can make you Take the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, man. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. That's what the Lord said this. Woe be to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering. What covering? A Babylon the Great. But not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves, in the strength of Pharaoh, and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore said a strength of Pharaoh, be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Okay? That's why I love bringing this out. Isaiah 36 and 6. Lo, thy trusted in the staff of this broken reed. Then the Lord say, Isaiah 24. Let's read it. Isaiah 24 and 5. Let me read that. Um, let me see. Because it say right here, Isaiah 30. Isaiah 36, right? It say, Lo, thou trusted in the staff of this broken reed. So let me read this. Isaiah 24 and verse. Yeah, Isaiah 24 and 10, right? It's talking about Babylon the Great. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Now, when I go back to Isaiah 30, right, Isaiah 30 and um, 3, it said, Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Right? So, when you go back to Isaiah 24 and 10, it says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Okay? Because, hey, when, when Jacob trouble hits, it's gonna be, you're going to be destroyed, man. So back in Isaiah 36 and 6. Lord, I trusted in the staff of this broken reed, which is Babylon the Great, collapsing. On Egypt, which is Babylon the Great, North America, where it says, We're on if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. Some of the RFD microchip. It says, So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. So, all you that trust in Esau, Edom, right? These Edomites, Babylon the Great, you're going to take the RFD microchip. And they show you that in the movie, The First Purge, man. Okay? They're going to wipe your dead clean. Or, you know, so they had it doing in the movie. They wiped their dead clean. They gave them $5,000 and they took the chip, man. And Jake was lined up. And guess what? It's going to be the same thing now, man. You, Jake, is going to be lined up. 
So take this RFD microchip, man. Okay? The same pastor that's deceiving you. Matter of fact, let me read this. This is Michael chapter 3, verse 11. The same pastor that have been deceiving you for years with them lies and Roman Catholicism, you're going to follow them. Right into the grave, to the pit. Right into slavery, to captivity. This is our Micah 3 and 11. It reads, The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Okay, they charging you, man. The Lord say, freely you receive it, freely you're supposed to give, right? It say, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? No evil could come upon us. And that's what they tell you. Hey, the Lord with us. Okay? The Lord is in this church. You go, the Lord wants you to be prosperous. Come as you are. Right? Everybody's going to be saved. They're lying to you, man. And these pastors are going to make you two-thirds take the RVD microchip, man. Which you got to understand, I always keep saying, the Lord set these pastors up to the sea two-thirds of you jakes, man. Okay? Hey, so Lord Winners Edifying, gotta give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kakurash, the honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the oxen, pushing the truth throughout the four ends of the earth, waking up the whole for the leg. And gotta say this, because I keep forgetting. Just in case these devils shut down my page, man. My other page is Your Redemption Draweth Nigh. Okay? Your redemption draws night. That's my other page. Subscribe to my other page just in case they shut this page down. Okay? Your redemption draws night is my other page. Shalom.